evening, everybody. Welcome to the final game of the season. My name is Tom Kiss, the England Insider. Courtney Ponce has the night off. We're here in Sherman Oaks, California, Notre Dame, hosting the Bishop Beaumont Lancers. We all know Bishop Beaumont at 4-1. and one. Big game for them tonight, and the fact that if they win, they go to 5-1, and one, and it looks like they may have a seed here in the Pac-5 playoffs. We all know about their quarterback, Damian Garcia, being out tonight. It's going to be Ryder Ruiz's team, and he's got a lot of weapons he can choose from. He's got... Tyler Vaughns, Trayvon Sidney, Anthony Camargo, Brandon Arcanando. As far as Sherman Oaks and Notre Dame, their quarterback was injured earlier in the season. That would be Cole Clayman. They're going to rely on Adam Carr tonight, and he's got two really good offensive weapons. Leo Lambert has accounted for 1,200 yards rushing, 1,500 total yards. He's got 18 touchdowns, including that. Their number one receiver, C.J. Sanders. Between those two guys, he's a senior. That's who Notre Dame is going to be relying on. For Amat, you got to look back at their season as a whole. It's been a roller coaster are up and down season and it could really close it out with the win tonight. We'll have highlights, we'll have interviews for you right after the game. Beautiful night in Sherman Oaks, California. It's the Amat Lancers coming into town to take on Notre Dame, finishing off their season, trying to salvage senior night for their seniors. Rio Ruiz would get the scoring started with this short touchdown pass to Ethan Haggerty. They can roll out. He had two receivers open. You could see Tyler Vaughns are jumping up and down the end zone. Seven and up in the lead. Sherman Oaks, Notre Dame. Their star over there, C.J. Sanders, takes this fumble, runs it down to the five-yard line. Then it's finished off by Leo Lambert. 19th touchdown of the season, tying the game at 7-7. Seven seven. Bishma Mott will get the ball back. Ryder Ruiz. Long pass right there. Then it gets finished off. Toriano Sweet, the first of his two touchdown runs. This one from five yards out. Amat up 14 to seven. Number 26 is gonna take off this pass. Clarence Carter gets the interception and then Amat goes to the ground. Toriano Sweet. Takes us all the way down to the two-yard line. He would finish it off a few plays later. And Amat is up 21-7. But Notre Dame is not going to stop there. On the ensuing kickoff, C.J. Sanders is going to take this 90 yards all the way down to the one-yard line. He gets knocked out of bounds. Let's see this on the reverse angle. Coming right at you. Amat does catch him. He goes down. It would lead to Sherman Oaks. Notre Dame's Leo Lambert right up the middle. And the score is now 21 to 14. Once again, CJ Sanders back in the shotgun after Amat turned it over. And he's going to take this. 80 yards into the end zone. Watch this. He's out of the Wildcat. Takes it off the left side, and he just outruns everybody into the end zone. Nobody could catch him. See it again. The final time on the third angle that we had tonight. Tying the game up 21-21. Ryder Ruiz gets this ball off at the last second. It goes to number 83, Brandon Morales, who... Falls down, and as he's falling, you're going to see on the replay here, the ball's going to pop up right into the hands of Tyler Vaughns. He runs it in, and Bishop Amont has a 28-21 lead. Going to halftime that way. Actually, before halftime, there was an onside kick attempt. They got it. Now we're in the second half action. Rio Reeves going to the air, connects with Brandon Arcanado, and it's going to lead to his second touchdown pass of the night. Right into the corner of the end zone. 38-24. Another onside kick is successful. They get the ball back once again, but then they fumble it. 
And Notre Dame has a little life. They're down two scores. Quarterback Adam Carr goes back, throws it down the left-hand side, and he gets picked off by Trayvon Sidney. Then, trickery here. The old hook and ladder play to the right guard. They were pulling out all the stops tonight. And then a reverse coming around in to Tyler Vaughns. Wide open all the way into the end zone. It's going to make it 40. Whoa, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Bring it back. Holding penalty. Touchdown's negated. Then this long pass gets intercepted. Sherman Oaks still has life. But Trayvon Sidney's second interception of the game shuts it down, and Amat raises the victory flag as they go to 5 and 1 in lead. Pish Mamat comes into Sherman Oaks Notre Dame. They get a victory 38 to 24 tonight. Grab a share of the Mission League Championship. We talk to victorious head coach Steve Haggerty. You know, you've had your, your critics. You had a lot of distractions. Critics? Yeah, yeah. Critics. Really? And tonight, you guys are, are league champions. What does it feel like? Feels great. It feels good. I didn't know we had critics. So, yeah, no, it's good. It's where we would like to be. So it's good. I'm proud of the kids. Finished it out tonight. You know, to come out here on the road, get this win tonight, knowing that you have a chance at a league championship. Did you do anything different to prepare for this game? No, we've been doing the same thing all year. There's some nights it works better than other nights. So now we're we're there's nothing to just execute. You know, you put Ryder Ruiz in, not too much experience. He looked really good in the first half. Talk about his performance tonight. Yeah, he's he Ryder's uh, was in the thick of the chase all along for quarterback. There wasn't a lot separating the two. Uh, so uh, we have a lot of confidence in him. And uh, while Damian's out, and uh, hopefully we can get Damian healthy, and we'll have two good quarterbacks playing. You know, coach, a lot of a lot of onside kicks, a lot of trick plays. You you pulled everything out of the out of the uh, the playbook tonight. How would you feel confidently with that offense? Onside kicks were the easiest thing to call all night. And the choice was to kick it to number three and have him go 80 or 90, or kick it. 10 yards and at least give them the ball there. That was an easy decision. It was strategy. It wasn't trickery. Everybody talks about getting ready for the playoffs. What does this team need to do to make a deep run into the playoffs this year? Well, we, we just got to do one thing at a time, and that's a week, week, weekly. So I don't know about deep runs. I know we'll find out who we play on Sunday, and we'll practice our butts off and get ready to play next Friday. And then we'll, you can ask me that question next Friday again, okay? But, but I think the kids are got to get healthy, and, uh, but they have a lot of confidence right now, and we're, we're ready. It's what we've worked Ryder for. Ruiz, the junior, comes in, engineers a huge victory for Amat here at Sherman Oaks, Notre Dame. We talked to him right after. The game. performance tonight. Talk about that victory for you getting a, a share of the league championship tonight. It's great. It's great. You know, we all worked hard all week. We we just got to play to our ability, and we, that's what that's what's going to take us here. You, know, you guys had a lot of plays, long plays, good, great running plays. Talk about your offense tonight. The our offense just just played outstanding today. Our old line just played unbelievable and sweet. Sweet can run the ball, and we we're just we we're, we we're just on. It was really good today. You know, we talked about getting a league championship. You always talk about that at the beginning of the season. How does it feel now to have a share of that league championship? It's great. It's great. You know, it's it's a good feeling going into playoffs with the league championship. It's a great feeling. Leading Amat on the ground, Torinero Sweet had a big night tonight. We talked to him right after the game. Torinero, talk to me about that performance tonight. You guys got a share of the league championship tonight. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means everything. We played a great Notre Dame team. They showed what they got. We showed what we got, and we just fought to the end. It was a dog fight. This whole game. You know, you guys came out throwing the ball, but then you started running and taking over. Talk about your offensive line. How do you guys play offensively? Man, our, our offensive line is everything. That's our that's our core of our team. I appreciate my offense. I love our offensive line. I give it all to them. So what's it feel to be a league champion? It feels awesome. It feels awesome, man. It's a great feeling. Go celebrate with the team tonight. Thanks. Thank Trayvon you. Sidney had two interceptions in the second half for Amat, shutting down Notre Dame. We talked to him right after the game. Two interceptions tonight. You needed to stop their offense. Talk about those interceptions. Uh, I just got to give up to the D-line. They got in pressure. Quarterback was scrambling, so he just threw it up, and I just had to make a play. You know, 
You guys talked about a league championship at the beginning of the season, and now it's come to fruition. Talk about that feeling of working hard and getting that league championship. It feels great. We've been working since summer to get it, and uh, we started off kind of slow in the beginning of the season. Uh, we just that motivated us, and we just picked it up and just kept going. What did this team do? What did you got? What changed for you guys coming into league? You had a couple of non-league losses, a couple of guys suspended during a couple of games, but you guys pulled it all together in one of the toughest leagues in Southern California. Uh, we just came together as a team, started playing together as as a one, and we just started practicing harder at all. Worked on practice. So Amok comes into Sherman Oaks, Notre Dame. They get a win, 38 to 24, heading into the playoffs for the Lancers. They'll find their fate Sunday night when the pairings come out. We'll bring it to you on the blog. This is Tom Kiss reporting from Sherman Oaks, Notre Dame for the Tribune Sports. Myself in nothing. Don't touch me, and I won't touch you.